This is the first of two videos on radio surgery, and this one is titled The Background and Concept of Radio Surgery. What is radio surgery? Let's compare it to electrocautery or electrosurgery. With electrosurgery, it has a lower frequency, deeper penetration, generates significant heat, and you get significant tissue destruction. Contrast that with radio surgery, which uses a higher frequency, shallower penetration, minimal heat, and minimal tissue destruction. And so the radio surgery, when properly used, creates a laser-like wound. Now let's talk about the soft tissue laser and compare that with the radio surgery. Here we see after initial preparation, we do not have the thin knife edge margins that we would like to see. We see the char layer created by the soft tissue laser, and we see the way this looks when the char layer is removed, and you will notice that there is a minimal amount of bleeding, there's a minimal amount of tissue destruction, nerve damage, and so forth. So therefore, that in healing, this is basically a painless wound, and we can see the way it looks a week or 10 days later. A very good unit, and certainly, a certainly a good way of doing gingiplasty when there are thickened margins. Another case where we have used the soft tissue laser and you can see the little pock marks where the laser was used there and then we see the way this area looks a short time later, week to 10 days. Again, no pain, no bleeding, and a very good uh, functional anesthetic, re anesthetic result. The unit that I like was developed by Dr. Elman. It's called the Dental Surge 90, and this instrument was um, introduced in the 1960s. It uses radio tubes rather than a solid state and, and, and perhaps is somewhat of a dated instrument, but I think it works quite well for the type of tissue surgery that we're going to advocate in these two videos. Now let's discuss this instrument in detail. On the lower left is a port where we place the antenna. More about that later. And then we place the cord that goes to the electrode tip which actually does the cutting. Here we see the knob that controls what we want to do from cutting to coagulation. The first setting on this is 90% cutting and 10% coagulation. This creates a laser-like wound, very little bleeding, very little post-operative pain, rapid healing. The next setting is 50% cutting and 50% coagulation, and I very seldom use this on soft tissue surgery. Occasionally when I get a bleeder, I would go ahead and coagulate that to control the bleeding. The final setting that we see is the cutting mode, which is 10% cutting and 90% coagulation. And this is basically uh, electrosurgery and you're actually burning away the tissue. So to repeat, 99% of the surgery that we did with this that we will show in the clinical application was set on this unit, 90% cutting and 10% coagulation. The little asterisk points that out. Now let's look at what the waveform shows on that. When you're using the fully filtered cut, rectified as it was, we can see the waveform on the oscilloscope. And when it's 50% cutting and 50% coagulation, the waveform that we see there. And once we go to the electrosurgery aspect, the difference in the wavelength there. Now typically I'm starting with this. I will set this on the cutting mode, and then we have a rheostat that you see on the bottom that will go from one to 10. So there are actually 30 uh, settings that you can make on this machine. The, uh, the filtered cut, one to 10. The 50-50 uh, coagulation cutting, one to 10. And uh, electrosurge, one to 10. I like to start out with about a four and see if I can get any cutting with that 
and I may have to dial that up to a six or seven. A word of caution, or not a word of caution necessarily, but a consideration. Remember, this is radio surgery unit. So the more electrical uh, units that are in the operatory, the more power you're going to have to use. So therefore, if there's a radio in the operatory, it is best to cut that off and use a lower power and make this more cutting and more a laser-like wound. I mentioned the antenna. Place the antenna as close to the possible to the radio surgery to reduce coagulation. The closer this is to the area that you're working, the less power that you use, the less power that you use, the less coagulation you get, and more laser-like the wound. And this is what the antenna is, and I would like to emphasize this is not a ground. This is an antenna to focus the radio waves so when they're highly focused, you do not have to use as much energy. The less energy you use, the more cutting, the less coagulation, and more the wound is a laser-like wound. Here again is the waveform, and with the setting that I like, we get minimal coagulation and the least amount of heat. On the 50-50, we get moderate coagulation, which can be used on a little bleeder if you get one, and you have more heat generated. Let's talk about now the action on the tissues. With a fully rectified, it's 90% cutting and 10% coagulation. And the fully rectified is 50% cutting and 50% coagulation. And the only time I use this middle setting is when I have a bleeder that I cannot stop when it's put on the fully filtered cut. And the partially rectified is hemostasis. And again, that's 90% coagulation and only 10% cutting, and basically that is uh, electrocautery. Now we mentioned on this that we can set the, uh, the rheostat on this on a four. And as I said earlier, if there's a radio in the operatory, you may have to dial this up a little higher. I always start with a four, and if that doesn't cut, then I will dial it up to a five, six, seven, till I get the vaporization technique that I want to use. To just show how delicate this instrument is, <clears throat> it is used in eye surgery to remove uh, cosmetically the fatty tissue there. And this is the way it looks two weeks later. And here is a biopsy on that showing how little infam inflammatory infiltrate is there and the margin on that, how nice the cutting is. It has also been used to separate two Filipino twins that were joined at the top of the head. And this took a 17 uh, hour operation and radio surgery cuts and coagulates without generating ex, uh, extra heat. And that was the key to separating these two conjoined twins. So hopefully I've explained to you the rationale, background, and how this works and now you want to go to the clinical application where we will show various areas where this instrument can be used.